gosh, when is he gonna be awake? Seems like he's been asleep forever. Oh, he's opening his eyes now. <laughs> Good morning, sleepyhead. Hmm. Um, don't try to move too fast. Because if you move too much, your bandages will come off. <laughs> what? You don't remember? The bandages are from when I stabbed you. Remember? In your arm? Well, I'm not surprised. Because the moment you saw the blood, you passed out. But... Um, the bright side, it did make it easier for me to kidnap you and bring you to my house. <laughs> what are you so frightened for? Uh, you have no idea how long I've been in love with you. I've been in love with you since we were kids. And... I've admired you so much. You don't remember? Oh, I thought you were going to say you don't remember me at all. I was going to say we're in the same classes together. Do you remember two years ago in the library at 11.42 a.m. right before lunchtime when you helped me get that book off the shelf because I was too short to reach it? You may not remember, but I do. I've always remembered. The book even smelled like you after, and... <laughs> oh. oh, it's not my intention to frighten you. I don't want you to feel afraid here, uncomfortable. I hope you'll get used to being here soon. Why did I kidnap you? Because, silly, I'm in love with you. And there's too many people trying to get in the way of that. So, I did what I have to do. So now, you're gonna be here with me. Forever. And you'll never leave. You'll never leave my side. I'll never let you leave. I'll never let you go. And if you try to leave, I'll kill you. dough, so I just got some Oreos, if that's okay. Huh? You have a question? Feel free to ask it then. Hmm? Joking about what? Mm, no. I wasn't joking at all about killing you. Did you really think it was a joke? Yes, I did say I'm in love with you, but that doesn't make me naive. Let's just put it like this. As long as you're a very, very good boy and you're on your best behavior, we won't have any problems. But if you start to stir up issues in our precious little household or try to get police involved or something, then I'll kill you. And then I'll kill myself. <laughs> Anyways, let's not think about the bad stuff right now. Let's just think about the good stuff. <laughs> Where's your girlfriend? We're not going to talk about her right now. Let's just say I had to make sure that she would never interrupt our relationship ever again. She tried to come to my house, you know. It's almost like she knew I was in love with you. 
I bet she regretted coming to the wrong person's house, huh? <sighs> Anyways, we should have fun with each other. Do more things that boyfriends and girlfriends do. What other plans do I have for you? Well, we're gonna live together forever. And get married and have kids with each other. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I just want to be your wife and have your children. If you want them or not, I want them. And that's really all that matters. I mean, your opinion does matter. I do care about your opinion, but at the end of the day, it's my house, my rules. Unless, mm, if you really, really don't want kids, I guess I could give you that. Mm. Well, let's get down to business. Huh? What are you panicking for? You said you didn't want kids, right? So if you don't want kids, there's no reason for you to have that in your pants. You want to keep it? All right, then. You keep it, then we have kids. Do you understand? Glad we could come to an agreement. Sorry for scaring you with the knife. You're probably still frightened from when I stab you, aren't you? You don't need to worry. I'm not just going to stab you whenever I feel like it. It's just, sometimes I get a little... angry. But I'm not angry right now. I'm actually very happy. You make my chest feel all warm and my heart race and you make me feel things... No one's ever made me feel before. Now, I have a question for you. Has your disgusting slut of a girlfriend ever tainted you? I said, has she ever tainted you? What I mean is, has she ever kissed you or had sex with you? Mm -hmm. So, she's only kissed you and that's it? Hmm. Are you a virgin, senpai? <laughs> of course you're not. All those stupid... Schoolgirl sluts. <sighs> nope. I'm fine. I'm entirely fine. But I need to get those disgusting girls off of you. What? You've had sex before. It shouldn't be a big deal for you. It should only be a big deal for me. Of course you're going to be my first senpai. You think I'd let anyone else in me? I love you. And I've only loved you. And I only want to do things with you. I would never let any other disgusting man get anywhere near me. I'm yours. <laughs> Call me yours. Senpai, why don't you want to have sex with me? What, is there something wrong with me? Have I done something wrong? You're a 
afraid to get me pregnant? Well, why does it matter? We're gonna have a family anyway. Well, what other propositions do you have? I mean, how else are we gonna have sex with each other? either way, but isn't that going to be uncomfortable? Bend over? Alright, Senpai, I trust you. 